In this video, I'll discuss the relationship between the differentiability and the continuity of a function. Here we have a piecewise defined function. f of x equals x plus 2 when x is less than 0, and x squared plus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 0. And we're asked to determine whether f of x is differentiable and continuous at x equals 2, or when x equals 2. Let's first sketch a graph of this function. The first piece is not defined when x equals 0. It's strictly less than 0. So I'll put an open circle at the y-intercept of 2. And it has a slope of 1. So this half, or this piece of the function, looks like this. The second piece is defined when x is 0. And it also has a, a y-intercept at 2. So we have this previously open circle closed in and now sketching this half of a parabola. This is what this is, is a parabola shifted up two units. It looks like this. Let's get that that nice parabola curb curve sketched in there. Very good, very good. Okay. Now, the question is, is this differentiable first? Is it differentiable when x equals 2? Well, when x is 2, we're right up here on, on the graph. And we look and we see, hey, what about the tangent? Is the tangent line? Because the derivative is, is the slope, the instantaneous slope. So is the tangent line coming in from the left, does that have the same slope as the tangent line coming in from the right? And the answer is... Yes, we can see it. It's very visually appealing that we can, we can see that. That tangent line is the same, coming in from the left and from the right. The slope is the same. So we can just simply say, yes, this is differentiable. I like to, I like to draw that, that, uh, that picture because, because it's very nice to get a nice visual uh, representation of what it means to be differentiable when the slope is the same coming in from the left and the right. However, you will see this written in a, a mathy way, I like to say, some version of, of the difference quotient. The limit as x approaches a from the right, the limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a uh, we say it's differentiable when that limit equals the limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. So this is, this is the mathy way of saying what we just showed visually. The slope is the same coming in from the left and the right. Now, for the continuity question, Hey, we have it easy now, because if, if a function is differentiable, if a function is differentiable at a point, I'll say, make, make it the general form, at, at x equals c, then, then it absolutely is uh, also continuous at that point. So this function would be continuous at x equals 2. So at x equals c. We'll make it real general. So, so I'm just going to finish that off and say yes. Yes, this is, because it's differentiable at that point, um, it's also continuous. And there's something to note. I, I don't want to just bypass this important idea is that if you have a hole in a graph, and we know it's not continuous there, it will uh, not be differentiable at that point. So if we had, this is a, a different function, but if we had something like this, then you would say um, it is not, we know it's not continuous because we have to pick up our pencil to, to keep drawing it. Uh, and, and just be heart, take heart that this still holds 
because it would not be differentiable there. So it wouldn't be differentiable at that hole, and so therefore it wouldn't be, um, we, we, we wouldn't have to say, well, wait a minute, uh, we, we said it was differentiable, but no, it's, it's not differentiable there. So now here's another question. What if, what if uh, f of x were looked at, observed at x equals 0? Is it differentiable and continuous? Well, here we have something different. We have a slope right at x equals 0. The slope coming in uh, at this point, the, the slope, when we're, we're coming in, the slope is, this is at x equals 0, or x approaching 0, I should say, from the left, the slope equals 1. We see that right here. But right here, in the second piece, we know the way the parabolas go. The slope is 0 because it's a vertex. The slope equals 0 when x is approaching uh, 0 from the, from the right. So this, what we have over here, the limit as x approaches a from the right is not equal to the limit of the function. I'm writing this shorthand here in interest of time. Is not, is not equal to the limit as x approaches a from the right. So therefore, this is not, this is no, this is not differentiable because the slope is not the sa same coming in from the left and the right. However, however, we know from continuity that we don't have to pick up our, our pencil. The limit exists coming in from the left and the right. The, um, the, we don't have to pick up our, our pencil. The limit is the same coming in from the left and the right, which is different from the slope, but just the limit. And, and that is the limit of, of just the function as x approaches 0. The limit of, of the function equals 2. And because that, that limit exists and it's the same coming in the left and the right, then we say, actually, yes, this is continuous. And that is at x equals 0. So the punchline here is that if, it's, if a function is differentiable, then we know it's continuous. However, however, it can be continuous and not be differentiable. It doesn't work the other way. It's not one of these if and only if uh, statements. Okay, so that, that's the point here. The, the, the big uh, punchline with all of this is that if it's differentiable, it's continuous at that point. But just because it's continuous does not mean that it's necessarily differentiable at a point.